Have you ever had someone measure your height? Maybe you've stepped on a scale to see how much you weigh. Or perhaps you've read a thermometer. These are all examples of ways we measure things. What is measurement? Measurement involves using tools to describe things with numbers. Measurement is very important because it helps us describe things more accurately. People measure things all the time, and during the next few minutes, we're going to take a closer look at how and why people measure things. You had to wake up and get to school this morning by a certain time. Time is one thing we measure. You decide. What tool is used to measure time? A clock or watch is a tool used to measure time. When a family member fills a car with gasoline or uses measuring spoons to cook something, they're measuring liquids. Liquids are things we often measure. The distance from your home to school or your height are other things frequently measured. They're measurements of length. Length is a measure of how long, how tall, how wide, or how far something is. The weight of foods, boxes, and even people are other things we often measure. Let's now take a look at how we measure various things. How would you figure out which of these balls weighed the most? It would not be a good idea to simply look at them and say that the biggest ball is the heaviest. This big hollow plastic ball, for example, is not as heavy as the golf ball. You could simply lift each ball to see which feels the heaviest, but that's not very accurate. The most accurate way to find the heaviest ball is to weigh each ball on a scale. In this example, the baseball is the heaviest. Scales are often used in science to accurately measure the weight of things. You decide. Which of these tools would you use to measure the length of a pencil? That's right, you'd use the ruler. Rulers, meter sticks, and tape measures are tools frequently used to measure length. On a hot summer day, you feel warm and you know the temperature is high. And on a cold winter day, you know the temperature is low. But to know the exact temperature, you need this instrument called a thermometer. Thermometers help us accurately tell how warm or cold the air temperature is at any given moment. These are just a few ways that we go about measuring things. When you step on a scale to measure your weight, or measure the weight of a ball, you get a number. But when you tell someone your weight, or write down the weight of something, you can't provide just a number. The number also needs something along with it, called a unit of measurement. A number without a unit of measurement is like a person without a name, or a home without an address. A unit of measurement is very important because it gives the number meaning. For example, the weight of this ball is 200 grams. Grams are the unit of measurement. Using this metric ruler, we see that this plant is 25 centimeters tall. Centimeters are the unit of measurement. You observe. 
What is the reading on this thermometer? Remember to give the unit of measurement. The reading on this thermometer is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. One thing that's a little confusing about temperature is that there are two common temperature scales. In the United States, temperature is commonly measured in degrees Fahrenheit. But in science, and in most other countries, temperature is often measured in degrees Celsius. Therefore, when measuring temperature, it's very important to say whether the reading is in degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius. During the past few minutes, we've taken a look at how and why we measure things. We began by taking a look at some of the things we often measure, such as time and temperature. We then explored some of the ways things are measured. We saw how scales are used to measure weight, rulers are used to measure length, and how thermometers are used to measure temperature. Last, we discussed the importance of including a unit of measurement when recording or describing a measurement. This rounded out our discussion of the fascinating process of measuring. Fill in the correct word to complete the sentence. Number one involves using tools to describe things with numbers. Number two, a clock is a tool used to measure Number three, A is a tool used to measure weight. Number four, every measurement includes A and a unit of measurement. And number five, A could be used to measure the length of this string. 